might have been 3.30, it might have been 4.30, we don't really know. But when you told this story, as every layer of it evolved, I felt like I got just the clearest picture in my head of where this came oh. from. And it's, it's such a piece that's really and truly from another time. And going into the season that we're going in, faith is such a great place for you to start with great jewelry. But then there's a serious fine design element in this artisan crafted sterling Telkari filigree Karas pendant. It's customer top rated, it's $40. We've got six easy payments of $6.67. And for those of you who have been asking for more artisan crafted pieces, I feel like this is not even artisan crafted from the present, but from the from past. past. Right. This is an ancient technique. They've been doing in ancient Assyria. It's a, in the southern part of Turkey. They've been doing this for thousands of years. And it's, Telkari is an embroidery term, which means weaving. And when you see the design, you can see what they do is they take heavy sterling silver rim, they put it on the outside, but then they come and they weave actually inside with sterling silver wire. You can see it's just so much detail and so many things to go on in this cross. So, so much to talk about. This cross is based on the cross that's over the entrance to a famous monastery, St. Gabriel. The, I think we have a picture of it. This is St. Gabriel. It was actually built in 397 AD. Oh my God. And when I went to visit with the artisans, I, of course, I stayed in the monastery, stayed in a cell. Here's, here, this was my room where I stayed. Wow. And that's what hey. they call them, cells. And it's a beautiful, beautiful monastery, beautiful town. And when you see it, it's Assyrian Christians. They've been there for generations. You can see it when you walk out of the monastery and you're looking at the hills, it's covered with almond trees. Wow. And it's the first time when an almond tree blooms, it's the first sign of spring. So when you look at the cross, not only do you have different almonds, you see the almond shapes, mm -hmm. and almonds are mentioned nine times in the Bible, by the way, but right in the center, that flower is an almond flower, which represents resurrection, represents rebirth, represents so much and you can see the detail it's also the first of spring and when you really see the detail here and you look at it and I hope we can show it from the side yeah I because I want you to see the dimension really of this quickly. the layer upon layer upon layer wow. of workmanship that you see even let's start with the flower in the middle look at the flower you have that large bead in the center but do you see those loops of silver oh I sure do <laughs> those are not individual loops that is thick sterling silver that has been looped over and over and over again to make that beautiful flower. And then the outer loops, it's the same thing. Those are not individual loops of sterling. That oh is actually gosh. one continuous piece of solid sterling silver. Can you imagine, and the idea to create this, the time right. that it takes for yet something like that, oh. that when somebody looks at this floating flower, for when you get to tell the story that it's the almond flower and yet, you get to tell them it's one continuous piece of sterling silver. That's, that's incredible. Well, it's, it's workmanship that, you know, 10 years from now, we probably will not see anymore because it's the, the younger generation, they don't want to do this. They want to do electronics. They want to do computer things. They want to do things like that. And it's really, it's a dying breed. And this group of Assyrian Christians have been there, like I said, for generations, and they right. really have perfected this incredible skill. Well, you know, in, in life, we live in a world of instant gratification. And in scenarios like this, I'm really not sure that that's best because you're right. No one in today's world wants to sit down for probably days on end right. figuring out how to weave in and out an embroidery, one piece of continuous sterling silver that then on those designs, the almond leaves, the intricacy of the filigree, the Talkari, which is such an amazing historical art that you get to wear for $6.67 on your favorite pendant that you've had forever. Or maybe it's that investment that you wear more fashionably and it's longer, you wear it closer to your heart. This is the time to do it. Very, very busy taking orders right now. You can always go to QVC.com. You can always shop on our mobile app. You can text QVC Go, which on a Sunday morning when you haven't had your coffee yet is like a personal assistant. It doesn't talk back. It asks very few questions. <laughs> and you're out. It's delivered to your door in a few business days. The customer top rated reviews. This cross is made very well and has intricate details. A great purchase and would make a wonderful gift for a discerning 
silver lover. And that's what I want to go back to because there's been a real push from our customer base right. for more artists and crafted. Yes. But it's hard to find those pieces because the world doesn't work that way uh, anymore. No, it's very hard to find the pieces and it's very hard to find the workmen. You know, I've been there many times and we have such a dedicated group and they're so talented, you know, and they really love what they do and they're so strong in their faith. You know, when you see Assyrian Christians, it's one of the oldest group. You know, the monastery itself was built in 397 AD and has quite a history. I had dinner with the bishop when we were there quite an experience and to hear him talk about you know the Assyrian Christians there you know their faith their history you know and their craftsmanship mm -hmm. when you look at that and it's, look at the back Courtney it's just as beautiful from the back you have so much detail and by the way do you see the twisted wire yes that is they have to produce the wire themselves they don't buy the wire so they make the wire and then they actually have to twist it by yes. hand then they cut it and then they form these beautiful beautiful details so much symbolism and incredible workmanship. Wow. All right, so here's the update for you. More than half of our quantity is gone. I will say, if you were just discovering QVC for the first time, first of all, we're one of the world's largest jewelry stores. But what I love about Peyton is not only is he a certified gemologist, he goes all over the world to bring us pieces like this. This, to me, when you hear Peyton speak about it, but then to know the story behind the monastery that this came from, to remember the picturesque town that is so lushly green, but then tranquil in the almond color and creams that you saw in those pictures, to then have this cross that represents so many great ideas of symbolisms that whether it's strong in faith or whether it's the good juju that some of us have, this to me is what makes such an interesting gift because when you think about the idea of, what was it, is it 397 or 397 three? 397 AD. AD. Right, so basically 360 years after the crucifixion. So that's not long. No. <laughs> <laughs> and to be able to then embroidery sterling silver to then twist the own pieces to give it that unique one-of-a-kind special representation as only a cross should have to have that look that again two eighths of an inch two inches and an eighth that you're seeing and i'll grab the ruler really quickly and i'm sorry i didn't do it earlier but you just stare at it you get lost in it and you're like i've never seen anything mm -hmm. like it it's a large bale so whatever your favorite chain is please Feel free, very, very large bell. We did that on purpose because we know you have your chain, whether you want to wear it short or whether you want to wear it longer on one of your longer chains. Always. But also, if you go to my Facebook page, Peyton Kelly QVC, I posted the pictures that you just saw of the monastery mm -hmm. and also the story behind the cross. So please do go there and read it. If you can't find it, you know, message me and I'll post it again. Because I think Perfect. it's very important with a piece like this that you oh. know that that you know the history. Well, and that's that's why you buy artists and crafted because there's so much jewelry in the world that means nothing, that is generic. And for the price of generic, honestly, you get a piece of history and a lost art that again, years from now, when you think about this being an heirloom piece, it's a wonderful time for you to bring it home for $6.67. We started the show with more than 1,300 pieces and we now have fewer than 300 to go around. And that's it. The Telkari is not something that you'll see in everyday places, and yet maybe you won't see it again no, for a very no. long time, if ever, here at QVC. It's J27. And I love the customer top rated. I know. Because that really shows you how beautiful it is. It's just the right weight. It's very stylish, but mm -hmm. also so much meaning. Well, I thought the chain that we paired this with was just a beautiful pairing. This was our super cube.